morning. Welcome to Gentle Yoga. <clears throat> My name is Lydia and I'll be guiding you this morning. Let's all go ahead and come to a nice comfortable seat. So if you want to sit cross-legged or maybe if you have a block with you, maybe sitting into a diamond posture on your block. And we're gonna just start by grounding down through the sits bones and lifting up through the crown of your head. And tucking your chin slightly, draw your shoulders back and down. You can give a nice soft gaze toward the floor or Close your eyes, whatever is comfortable for you. And we'll just start with some breathing in and out through the nose. Noticing the quality of the breath here. Beginning to notice whether or not the breath gets stuck at the top of your inhale or at the bottom of your exhale. From here, moving right into three-part breathing. So go ahead and place one hand at your heart center and the other at low belly. And on your next inhale, you're going to start to fill your belly and allow the rib cage to expand. And notice the chest rise. Exhaling, chest lowers, ribs hug, gently drawing the navel toward the spine. Keep going here, filling up on your inhales. Drawing the navel in on exhales. in all of your postures. So as we move through, if you get into a posture where you feel like you're not able to breathe well, then just back it up a, a little bit and notice if you're able to breathe there. 
Uh, take a nice deep inhale from here. Exhale, drop your chin to chest. Allow your head to be nice and heavy. Your shoulders are relaxed away from the ears. Working this nice curvature in the neck here. Inhaling ear to shoulder. Exhaling to center and inhaling toward the other side. So keep going. Moving with the breath. And if you notice any tightness or tension on one side or the other, maybe stay there for just a moment. And breathe. Try to send your breath to those tight areas and open up. Exhale back to center. Inhale the head up. Draw the shoulders back and down. And if you're sitting cross-legged, maybe you might want to switch your feet here. Readjust yourself. Bring your hands together. Forearms are together. Interlace your fingers and we'll do some wrist circles. So full circles all the way around. Keep the elbows lifted. Any popping or cracking that you're hearing here is up. Perfectly normal. Keep moving through. And switch directions. And then inhale, press through your palms. Exhale, release. Re-interlace the fingers behind you and press down through the tops of the hands. Start to lift the heart, maybe look up or just keep the gaze forward. Exhale, release. From here, we're just gonna do a few spinal movements and seated. So you're going to bring your hands to your knees. You're gonna inhale, lift up through the heart. Exhale, tuck your chin to chest and round your spine. Inhale, back to neutral. Exhale, draw the navel in. Inhale, lift up through the heart. Look up. Exhale, chin to chest, round the spine, tuck your tailbone. Inhale, neutral. One more time. Inhale, lift up through the heart. Exhale, chin to chest, round. Inhale, neutral. And from here, we'll do just a few spinal twists and seated. So I'm gonna just readjust my seat and come into cross leg um, posture. Right. So from here, just sitting up nice and tall, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, reach your arms overhead. Exhale, we're just gonna turn, twist to the right. So you're gonna bring your right hand behind your seat. Left hand comes to the outside of that right knee. And then, then maybe if it feels good to you and you're still able to get a nice good deep breath here, looking over the right shoulder, or just keeping the gaze forward. So wherever you're at is okay. Breathe. And then inhale, reach the arms overhead. We're back at center now. Exhale towards the other side. Keep the heart nice and lifted here. Try not to round in that middle thoracic spine, but lift up through your crown. 
Keep the heart lifted. Keep the shoulders nice and open. Keep breathing. Inhale, reaching arms overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale. Exhale. Moving right into shoulder mobility. Bringing hands to the shoulders. And we'll just start with simple exhaling, drawing the elbows in. Inhaling, opening up. Keep moving. And then from here, exhale, draw the elbows together. Inhale and start to make circles with the elbows. So inhaling as you open, exhaling as you draw the elbows together. Switch directions. And then from here, let's start to alternate elbows. So keep breathing, nice steady breath. We're moving the elbows back this time and, and in a moment we'll switch it up and come forward. And forward. Release from here. Shake out the hands for just a moment. From here, we're going to interlace the fingers. And we're going to start to pull on the fingers. Start starting to pull them apart. So if you have arthritis, this is something good to do. You don't want to feel any pain, so just a gentle pull here. One more time. Shake out the hands once more. And then from here, we're just going to move right into extended legs. So go ahead and extend your legs out in front of you. And we're just going to lean back into the hands and shake out the leg going from the hip pocket. Lift up your heart, up through your heart, and keep your face forward or look up, whatever feels good. And then point and flex the feet a few times. And then moving right into ankle circles, we're going to start to scoot the leg bone back into the hip socket. Come up into a nice seated posture. You can have, if you have blocks, you can place them under your hands here if your hands don't reach your mat. Continue to lift up through your crown. Keep your chin tucked slightly and full circles all the way around. So you're going to exhale, point the toes. Inhale, draw the toes towards the body. And we're just moving in one direction. And you can do this quickly or slowly, whatever feels good to you. Just keep breathing. And switch directions. And 
then one more time, shake it out. From here, we're sitting up nice and tall. Our crown is lifted, chin is tucked. Inhale. Exhale, start to press the sits bones down into the mat. Flex your feet. Spread your toes for nice energy flow here. Inhale. Exhale, draw the right knee in. Give it a little squeeze. Continue to keep the crown lifted. Continue to breathe here. And we're gonna do a little twist from here. So you're gonna inhale that right arm. You're gonna start to windmill this right arm. So you're inhaling the arm up and around. Hand comes behind the seat. Left hand comes to the right knee, to the outside of the right knee. And then start to lift up your crown. Keep your shoulders open. Keep your heart open. And then maybe gazing over that right shoulder or just keep the gaze forward. Keep breathing. And then Inhale, come back to center. Right knee. Keep flexing through your right heel. Keep lifted. Keep breathing. Exhale, release, inhale. Exhale, once more, draw that knee in. Inhale, re-extend the right leg. So just readjust yourself here and we'll do the other side. So inhale, exhale, draw the left knee in this time. Give a little hug. Inhale. Exhale. And on your next inhale, we're going to start to windmill this left arm up and around. Let, left hand comes behind the seat. Right hand comes to the outside of the left knee. Your gaze can be forward or even over that left shoulder. So think about your breath. And think about a nice, steady breath. Keep breathing. And then inhale your way back to center. Exhale, draw that knee in once more. Interlace your fingers behind the left knee. Keep lifted. On your next inhale, you're gonna extend that left leg. Flex through the left heel, breathe. And release, give a little hug. Inhale, re-extend. From here, we're gonna swing the feet around and make our way into a tabletop position. If you have any knee issues, you can always place a blanket under your knees for extra cushion. I always use two mats for extra cushion. So we're coming into a tabletop position. And check your alignment in your tabletop. 
just remembering that knees stay directly under the hip bones and wrists stay directly under the shoulders. Spread your fingers nice and wide. Inhale and look towards the top of your mat. Exhale, press the hips back as you draw your navel toward your spine. Go ahead and come into a nice extended child pose. Tip of the forehead resting on your mat here. And then inhale back to center. Exhale, hips come back, child pose. Inhale to center. Exhale one more time, sink the hips back. Inhale, come back to center. Inhale. Exhale, draw the navel in. Working on wrists once more. So you're going to turn your hands so that your fingertips are towards the outside edge of your mat. You can intensify this by bringing the heel of the hands a little closer together. Otherwise, we'll stay here. And we're just going to start to rock the body just back and forth, leaning into either hand. Nice wrist stretch here. And then come back to center. And we're going to turn the hands so that the fingertips are pointing towards the knees. From here, you're going to inhale and then exhale, sink the hips back. So this you know, you don't have to sink the hips all the way down to the heels. Obviously, this is going to be quite intense for the wrist. So take your time. Gentle, gentle, gentle movements here. And then make your way back to center. Fingertips are pointing towards the top of your mat. Exhale, sink the hips back, come back into your child's pose. Tip of your forehead resting on the mat. So your chin is nice and tucked here. Take a breath. And then inhale back to center. Working on spinal movements in tabletop. So from here, we're just going to do a few cat-cow movements. So keep your fingers spread nice and wide. Check your alignment. Inhale. Exhale, draw your navel in. Inhale, start to lift up through the heart. Look forward. Exhale, chin to chest. Round your spine. Tuck your tailbone. Inhale, neutral. Exhale, draw the navel in. Inhale, lift up through the heart. Look forward. Exhale, round. Chin to chest. Tuck your tailbone. Exhale, every bit of air out of the lungs. Inhale, neutral. Exhale, draw the navel in. Inhale, lift up through the heart. Exhale, round. Emptying out the lungs here, best you can. Inhale, neutral. Exhale, sink the hips back. Child's pose. Take a breath. One more breath. Inhale, 
inhale, come back up to tabletop. We're going to do a, a little twist here in tabletop. So check your alignment. Look towards the top of your mat. We're going to start on the left side. So you're going to inhale, lift the left hand, and then exhale, start to slide that left arm through, landing on the shoulder and relax. Sliding that left hand or right hand back under the right shoulder if you are reaching for the top of your mat. On your next inhale, you're going to gently press into that right hand. Inhale, lift the left. Exhale, right back to center. Readjust yourself. And we'll do the opposite side. So inhaling right arm this time. Exhaling, sliding that right arm through. Landing on head shoulder. You can keep your left hand here under the left shoulder. You can start to again reach for the top of your mat. Breathe here. On your next exhale, sliding that left hand back under the left shoulder. On your next inhale, gently pressing into that left hand, sliding right arm back through, inhale the right arm up, exhale back to center. And just a few table to child here. Inhale here at center, exhale, sink the hips back. Inhale, table. Exhale, child. Inhale, table. Exhale, child. And from here, we're going to go ahead and slide all the way down to the belly. So you're coming all the way down onto your mat. And go ahead and bring your forehead to your mat and slide your hands under your shoulders. So once I get here, my forehead is relaxed on my mat. My hands are just under the shoulders and I'm gonna keep my elbows nice and tucked in. And then I just like to shake out the hips a little bit here. We're going to start to work on some back strengthening. So we're going to move into a nice sphinx pose. All right, so we're just going to slide the hands forward and start to lift up through the heart and start to look forward. So in sphinx, you want your elbow and your shoulder to be in line. You want your elbows to stay nice and tucked and then spread your fingers nice and wide. Breathe. One more breath. Exhale, release the forehead back to your mat, slide the hands under the shoulders, shake out the hips. We'll move into Sphinx one more time. So shake it out just a little bit, just preparing yourself here. <clears throat> and when you're ready, we'll move back into that Sphinx pose. So you're sliding hands forward, 
Keep your elbows tucked in, elbows directly under the shoulders. Fingers spread nice and wide, lifting up through the heart, keeping the gaze forward. Keep breathing. Exhale, release back down to your mat. Forehead comes to the mat, hands under the shoulders, shake it out. And moving back into that Sphinx pose, we're gonna do something a little different here. Elbows are under the shoulders, fingers spread nice and wide, your heart stays lifted. You're going to bend the left knee, flex through the left heel, and then turn the head on your next exhale and see if you can, so you're turning and gazing over that right shoulder and then seeing if you can Notice the left foot in your peripheral vision. Keep breathing. Inhale, head comes back to center. Exhale, release the left foot. Bring your forehead back to your mat. Shake out the hips once more. And we're gonna do the other side. So when you're ready, sliding the hands forward. Set yourself up in your Sphinx posture. And when you're ready, Bending right knee this time, flexing through the heel, gazing over the left shoulder. So one side might feel different from the other. You might be able to notice um, in your peripheral vision one foot and maybe not the other, but the goal is to um, work on the side that maybe you're having a hard time with. One more breath. Exhale, release. Head comes back to center. Inhale. Exhale, forehead back to your mat. Shake out the hips. And from here, we're gonna come into a nice baby cobra pose. So your hands are under the shoulders. Fingertips are just behind the tips of the shoulders here. Keep the legs together and you're pressing down through the tops of the feet. So we're still working on that back strengthening. So inhale here, exhale, draw your navel in. Keep your shoulders relaxed away from your ears. And on your next inhale, you're gonna gently press into the hands, lift the head, lift the heart, Keep the elbows tucked in. Gaze is toward your mat. Keep breathing. Exhale, release. Shake out the hips. We'll do that baby cobra twice more. So prepare yourself here. Inhale. Exhale, draw the navel in. Keep the elbows tucked. On your next inhale, gently pressing into the hands, lifting the head, lifting the heart. Keep your gaze toward your mat. Keep your shoulders relaxed away from your ears and breathe. Exhale, release. 
shake it out. And one more time in our baby cobra. All right, preparing here. Inhale, exhale, draw the navel in, elbows are tucked. Inhale, gently pressing into the hands, lifting the head, lifting the heart, gazing towards the mat, breathing. Exhale, release, shake it out once more. This time we're gonna inhale, press into the hands, lift the hips, press the hips back, child's pose. And I even like to shake my hips back and forth a little bit here, just to release a little tension in the low back. Sliding hands back beside the knees. Keep your chin tucked towards your chest and on your next inhale, roll yourself all the way back up to seated. Head comes up last. We're gonna make our way to the top of the mat. And from here, we're gonna come to a seated posture with knees bent. Feet flat to your mat. Grab behind your knees, sit up nice and tall. Lift up through your crown, inhale. Exhale, lean back into your hands. Tuck your tailbone and slowly make your way onto your back. Go ahead and draw your knees to chest. Your neck is nice and long on your mat. Give a little squeeze, a little rock side to side. And then a few knee circles. In your knee circles, inhale as you press the knees away from the body. Exhale as you draw the knees close. So we'll do a few rounds on in one direction. And then switch directions. Inhale, press the knees away, bring your feet back to your mat. Your knees are bent, feet are flat on your mat, bring your arms down by your sides. So you want your knees to be hip distance apart. We're gonna do a few rounds of bridge pose. And as we move into bridge pose, just make sure that your knees don't start to slay open. You wanna keep them at hip distance. And if you have a hard time keeping them at, them at hip distance, maybe place a block between your knees. So arms are down by your sides. You're drawing the shoulder blades together so you're keeping the heart nice and open. Continue to relax. Keep the neck nice and long and keep the head relaxed on your mat. Inhale. Exhale, gently press your low ribs into the mat. Inhale. Exhale, press the low ribs into the mat. On your next inhale, you're gonna gently press into your heels and start to lift the hips. So we're here, we're in our bridge pose. Our hips are lifted, knees are continuing to stay hip distance. And we're gonna take the three breaths here. Squeeze your glutes. Exhale, make 
your way back down onto your mat. Try to come back down one vertebrae at a time if you can. Inhale here once you make it all the way back down to your mat. Exhale, draw your knees in, give a little rock side to side. Lots of work for strengthening back this morning, so please take your time. All right, inhale, press the knees away. Bring your feet back to your mat. Arms down by your sides. Knees are hip distance, drawing those shoulder blades together, keeping the heart nice and open. Inhale. Exhale, press your low ribs into the mat. Inhale, as you press into the heels, lift your hips, keep your knees hip distance. Three breaths here. Squeezing the glutes. Exhale, slowly make your way back down onto your mat. Inhale. Exhale, draw the knees in once more for a little rock side to side, and then maybe a few knee circles. Inhale, press the knees away. Bring your feet out to either edge of your mat. So your knees are still bent. You're gonna bring your arms out to a T in line with your shoulders, and we'll do a few windshield wipering with the knees. And just moving with the breath here, you're gonna inhale here at center. Exhale, allow the knees to drop over to the left. And maybe gazing over the right shoulder. Inhale, knees and head back to center. Exhale, knees to right, maybe gazing over the left shoulder here. Inhale, head and knees back to center. And then a few more times doing this with your own breath at your own pace. Come on back to center. Extend your legs the length of your mat. Bring your arms down by your sides, palms facing up. Allow the feet to drop open. Take a nice cleansing breath here. Inhale. Exhale through the mouth. And just doing a quick scan of the body, noticing if there are any areas of tightness that you may need to, you know, trying to release here. One more time, nice deep inhale. Exhale through the mouth. Make your way back into a normal breathing pattern. Inhale, reach your arms overhead for a nice full body stretch. Maybe flexing through the heels here. Keep the arms overhead as you bend your knees. Exhale. 
Exhale as you make your way over onto the side body. And we're just going to use the hands to, and forearm to inhale your way back up to seated. Coming into that nice cross leg posture, bringing hands together at heart center. Thank you all so much for sharing this gentle yoga practice with me this Monday morning. Join me again at 1230 for beginner yoga. Have a lovely day. Namaste.